What do you do when you are feeling overwhelmed? I have three kids under three and feel like I'm going to lose it sometimes. Sometimes I do lose it. <laughs> hey guys, hope you're all doing good. Um, gosh, it feels so good sitting down and filming. I just filmed an update video. My kids are flying around, you know, just the norm over here. And so I wanted to do a Q&A video since it's been so long since I've sat down. Um, but like I said, I did do an update video, so I'm going to link that right up here for you. So if you are like, hey, I haven't seen you in my feed for 500 years, what's going on? Then you sh should watch that video out there. So I did a call for questions over on my Instagram account, and they're all right here. So I'm going to go through these. And we'll see how many I can get through. I don't know if this is gonna have to be like a two-parter, but let's go ahead and jump on in and um, answer you guys' questions. The first question, how is your minimalism journey going? It is actually going really good, I feel like. Now, I am gonna do a separate video specific to minimalism just on that topic kind of and where I'm at right now. I'm kind of learning about myself right now. I feel like right now in my journey, I don't know, my kids are in the bathroom right now. What are they doing? I feel like I am in a kind of a self-reflective, which you're always reflecting on yourself, right? But um, specifically, I've gone through like a very big realization and just learning things about myself. So more about that in a specific video, but um, minimalism is going well for me. The next one is, how do you feel knowing that in a few months you will become a mother of four? I have three and couldn't imagine having a fourth one. <laughs> I feel so busy and crazy right now with my three that I'm kind of like, what's another one, you know? But then again, I also get a little bit like weepy and emotional when I think about Jude not being my baby. But I felt that way with all of my kids, so um, I don't know. I'm not scared to have four kids, but you know, I'm always thinking about just the changes that it's gonna to bring to our family and our life. How did you come up with your children's names? I love how unique they are. Thank you. Jude is our youngest and we, basically we just liked all of their names. Fiona, we didn't find out if she was a boy or a girl. So he had a name that he liked, I had a name that I liked and we didn't agree and Fiona was like, well if it's a girl then, you know, we both don't hate this name. And so we, were, we really thought we were gonna have a boy though even though we didn't find out. And if she was gonna be a boy, we were gonna name her Gideon. And so when she was born, we were both kind of like, okay, Fiona, cause that's the only name that we have that we both agree on. And I'm so glad we picked that name because I, one, I love that name, and two, um, it just fits her so, so well. Ezra um, was one of three names that we had picked for a boy. We waited until he was born. All three of those names were biblical. I think we had Gideon again, Isaiah, and Ezra, and he just looked like an Ezra. Jude. We picked over here, Jude, he's seriously, you guys, he's into everything on top of everything. He's so, so busy. Be careful back there, Bubby. Jude was just a name that I really liked and it kind of stuck out to us and so we went with it. And then baby Ingrid's name, her name is a little bit cooler. I think her name has a little bit more of a story behind it, which maybe I'll do that in a separate video, how we picked her name because I've had a lot of people ask me that. So. Sorry to leave you hanging, but um, I will do that in a separate video. However, all of their middle names are named after family members. So all of them have middle names that are specific to someone in our family, which is really special. Do you still post videos for millennial moms? Um, no, I don't right now. Uh, I talked about this in my update video, just from being sick in my pregnancy and just, it's been a crazy time right now for my family and for me. John is finishing seminary right now. And so for this season, it was just, it was too much. And so currently I'm not posting videos for millennial moms, um, but you never know in the future I might go back over there just because I just love them all so much and it was such a good experience. Do you have a favorite daily devotional for you or for your kids? Um, I don't have like a daily devotional. There's specific inspirational books that I like to read and maybe I'll read like a little bit here and there. There's a book called Missional Motherhood by Gloria Furman. The Mission of Motherhood, Missional Motherhood, I think is what it's called. Um, I've talked about Desperate before. I've Glor Any Gloria Furman book, I absolutely love. Uninvited is really good, Desperate. There's a lot of good Christian books uh, that are specific towards adult women and mothers that are super good, so I read those in the morning time. And then as far as kids, I have done a video talking about some of my favorite devotionals. It was probably like a year ago, but I don't think I picked up really anything new. 
And so I will link that up there for you and you can check that out if you want to. When do you post videos on your channel? I don't know. <laughs> if you find out, let me know. I have no clue. Uh, lately, it's been never, I feel like, uh, just with everything going on. But I usually tried to post videos twice a week and I'd like to get back to that as well, depending on how everything's going on, ebbing and flowing in my family and with my kids and my life. If you weren't a stay-at-home mom or YouTuber, what do you think you'd be doing? Oh, that's a good question. Oh gosh, I don't know. Um, I've worked at a church before. I've been a worship leader before. I have served before and bartended. I've <laughs> been a worship leader, I've been a bartender, I've been all the things, I don't know. I have really no idea. I've done a little bit of everything. I don't know if it'd be something that I'm specifically passionate about that I'd be doing because I love YouTube. Like I absolutely love YouTube. Even though YouTube's not really a job for me right now, it's more of a hobby when I have the time. I have no idea. I love YouTube, so I don't know. What natural concealer are you using? I am using the RMS Uncover. That's something I didn't talk about in my update. Um, I have been doing more all natural makeup and beauty products. Maybe I'll do a video specific to that. But yes, I'm using the RMS Uncover Up, and I, I like it. All right, my kids are all my kids are all starting to infiltrate. It's funny I haven't filmed or done anything in so long, and I feel like as soon as I sit down to do anything, <laughs> that like takes my attention away from them. They're like, what's going on? What are you doing? How do you keep your children entertained all day? I don't know. Buddy, can you stop whining, please? Oh my gosh, you guys, seriously. How do I keep my kids entertained? I don't know. We go out of the house a lot because it's warm, it's summertime, and so we go out of the house a lot. We make plans with friends, um, Play-Doh. I send them in the basement and say play for a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. This is what happens though because I'm trying to film this video and he wants a shirt on Mickey So there we go. I don't know. I don't feel like super mom right now. <laughs> I feel like I feel like realistic mom right now I don't know um, with every kid. I've become more humbled. We have like a little pool out back for the kids There's like a local climber thing that we go to sometimes they they fly around and they love that get the energy out girl Get their energy out and that's what is good. Will you continue homeschooling indefinitely or are you just doing preschool? I'm planning on homeschooling indefinitely, um, but no judgment if I choose not to because things change. But as far as my mindset right now, I want to homeschool indefinitely. Any tips for homeschooling with three little ones? No, I'm still trying to figure it all out. <laughs> Set your expectations realistic. These are all the things that I would tell myself. We're like coloring, we're practicing numbers, we're doing things that are easy and tangible, and they're three and four, so that's what they do anyways, and they play a lot. Um, because it's crazy when you have a lot of kids flying around. How do you find time for your own devotional quiet time? You make time, I guess. Um, I used to try to do it like during their quiet time or when they were in bed, which is really good, right? Because it's time that you can actually focus because they're not flying around. Don't knock this over, please. But I also think that it's good. I had someone tell me one time that um, them specific, oh wow. You did some makeup while, we were up while you were upstairs. It looks real nice. I had someone tell me though that um, they take like 15 minutes every morning and they read their Bible and they do a devotional and their kids and they like set specific time apart from that and their kids have to stay busy during that time because um, they believe it's good for their kids to see mom taking a specific time <laughs> to do that. And your kids might go upstairs and put on a crazy amount of makeup during that time but you know, wait, wait it out, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What do you do when you are feeling overwhelmed? I have three kids under three and feel like I'm going to lose it sometimes. Sometimes I do lose it. <laughs> yeah, that's sometimes what I do when I'm overwhelmed, which is not good. Um, sometimes I start screaming like a crazy person and I need to take a time out for myself. Sometimes I need to put some cold water on my face and breathe. Um, <laughs> she's like, yes, you're right. I like to put on worship music in my house consistently. Like, I just like it going all the time in my home because I feel like it sets a good energy in my home. I feel like, um, I just feel the Holy Spirit so much more when I just am filling my house with worship music. And so that's what I will do. Um, it's hard to be screaming at your kids when 
you know, Bethel or someone is singing, it's possible because I've done that. But it's a little bit more hard. Take big breaths, go in the bathroom, put some water on your face, lock yourself in the bathroom with some Reese's peanut butter cups. I've done that plenty of times. Sometimes we go for like a drive and I just go to Starbucks. If I don't have money for Starbucks, we just go for a drive. Sometimes just opening up the windows and getting some fresh air. FaceTime with a girlfriend. Did you have to wean your youngest before trying for your fourth? No, I was nursing Jude when I got pregnant with Ingrid and I was nursing all my kids when I got pregnant with the next one. What's under your couch cushions? <laughs> what is under my couch cushions? Ah, all the things. Uh, probably a lot of goldfish, maybe some bobby pins, ponytails, a smushed up fruit snack or two. How to transition from one to two. What was the most difficult transition? I think I did a video on this. I did a series on two under two, transitioning all of that way back in the day. Don't judge my eyebrows. I will link it up here. I'm gonna have like 50 million things linked over here for you guys. Do you want to have more kids when the baby's born? This is a video for itself. But I will say that I'm contemplating that my quiver is pretty dang full, that it's full to capacity, so I don't know. What is something you can't live without these days? Oh, well, I'm pregnant right now. Something I can't live without. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have been craving double cheeseburgers from McDonald's all the time. So yes, that's a little bit disgusting, but I'm pregnant, I don't know. It's been something I've been craving. What do you keep your thermostat at during the summer? I think mine is usually set at like 75, but if I feel hot flashing or if I feel like I'm too hot, then I will lower it on down. Did you have a boy's name picked out if Ingrid was to be a boy? We did. I had the name Lincoln picked out. I loved the name Lincoln if she was a boy, and I thought that she was gonna be a boy for some reason, but she's a girl, and we were gonna name her Lincoln. Do you miss filming, or has it been a nice break? Both, it's been a really nice break, but I feel like it's like anything else, where the longer that you go without it, the harder it is to start back up, but now that I'm sitting here filming, I already miss it, and I'm so happy that I'm doing it, so it's been a really nice break for me, um, and I have missed it, but it's been much needed sabbatical for me and for my family. Okay guys, everybody's getting crazy and I don't even know how long this video has been so far, so I'm going to break this and I'm gonna finish up part two coming soon. Bye!